Okay, moving on. All right, um, to, to speak about Choose Philippines and advocacy marketing, we have our very own Shari Vilia. She's the head of news and online business for the regional network group of ABS-CBN. Just a quick rundown of her other accomplishments. She served as head of ABS-CBN's news gathering operations for five years. Prior to joining ABS-CBN, she was a senior producer for Reuters Television Asia from 1997 to 2005. Baguio City earthquake in 1990, Imelda Marcos, New York trial in 1990, Pinatubo eruption in 1991, and Ormok tragedy the same year, and the Taiwan-China Straits and Taiwan elections in 1996. And she's a Broadcom or Broadcast Communication graduate of the University of the Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Chari Vilia. Yay! So how many here are from ABS-CBN? <laughs> <laughs> oh, siguro they don't know, no? But ABS-CBN rin yun nasa kabilang theater, Bong Osorio. But I have a promo. <laughs> Maybe you can tweet or share on your Facebook um, walls that um, this is how we engage our Filipino audience. So plainly because it's Choose Philippines, but we also want to engage, siempre, those who want to love the Philippines. So can we, okay, how did this all be begin, no? You're all Filipinos, who's not? May I see some hands? So it's okay for me to break into Tagalog? Okay. I want to engage you. Come on, wake up. Yes. Thank you. That's the Choose Philippines team. Hello. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. We're giving away. Huh? Courtesy of Choose Philippine Airlines. And Philippine Hotel Reservation Services. Huh? 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 Two trips to Palawan. Oh. Oh, game, game, game. Okay, when you see these photos, di ba? When you see these photos, ito, this is popular. This is the PPUR, Puerto Princesa Underground River. Where is this? <laughs> but whenever you see these photos, you say, Wow, parang hindi sa Pilipinas. So ev did everyone get that? Wow, it's not like it's shot in the Philippines. <laughs> it looks foreign, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, and then my boss, Gabby Lopez, the brother of, the kuya of Ernie here, sent me to far away places. Sabi niya, Chari, do news in the provinces. Do, um, try to create content in Cebu, Davao, Iloilo. So I went around. I went to Bacolod and I asked our news header. Sabi ko, Huy, pare, anong headline mo today? Ako, ma'am. Rape. Mm. Sabi ko, I'd seen so many rape cases before. So what's different? Sabi ko, why is this your headline? Ma'am, this time it's different. He was raped and they inserted it na in his ass. Poet. <laughs> I'll be going, oh my God. So news, because the mindsets of our journalists, we TV Patrol for the longest time. So the mindset is tabloid. So there's never an opportunity for us to talk about good news or progress. Like if there's an airport that's going to be built somewhere, hardly it ever lands in the news. I know um, many of you, some of you, you know, you've been doing a, a corporate social responsibility um, activities as well, but it hardly gets into our news. So I wanted, I said, God, when I saw the piayas, the, the parquillos in Bacol, I said, you don't talk about this stuff, why? They don't see it as news. But you know what, if we push this, and I said, if you talk about these good things out there, and it, they're all not discovered, and most of them are not known, probably we can make business grow, and probably we could increase the audience pa of the Philippines. So we want to create a good Philippines. 
this was even before the more fun campaign of uh, the Department of Tourism. So when Secretary Monimenez, I, in fact, we, we presented this to Secretary uh, Bertie Lim, and he liked the project, but it's not a tourism project. We said we wanted to change behavior and mindsets in the Philippines because it's too negative. And Philippine, because of the diaspora, diba, when Filipinos get probably um, to Japan or marry the Japanese, instantly they give up their citizenship. They become Japanese as well. If you ask them, ano ka, Japanese or Filipino? They say, Japanese. How easily we give up our own race, our own heritage. That's why we wanted to create this movement. It's love for the Philippines. And there's a lot of it, I know. Because when we started doing our thing, you know, um, ABS-CBN produced video about loving the Philippines and all that campaign, and I want to show you some, some. such a term. <laughs> you see, I'm not a digital person. I've always been a television journalist. So, but when I was appointed to do news.com, I started learning, no, I don't even know what, you know, the meaning of ATL about the line or FMCG. I only know WTF <laughs> or Rose. So, we did promos. That one, we did it no, in a span of a year, no? One year. And it generated a lot of following, huh? thankfully. So I said, I think, you know, there's really love there. We tapped into something. Filipinos really love the Philippines, especially OFW. So we started um, doing campaigns. And I'm going to do one right now, huh? just to give you a sample. I'm going to give away T-shirts, no? Enzo, where are you? Like this, I know better, better versions. Okay, this is Cho Ose. <laughs> to make you think, yeah, what's that, Cho Ose, designed by Rita Biog over there. Okay, we did this promo campaign, like help us complete 7,107 reasons why you choose the Philippines. So now I want to see some hands over there. Reasons why you love the Philippines. Oh, you know this? Kasi nga sabi namin, Philippines is one big undiscovered area. So, can you read? Davao is the home of these endangered species, wherein they are held captive to nurture and reproduce. Q, it's the Philippine national bird! Ayun, pao na! You, 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 you were the first one to raise your hand. Yes! Huh? You have to go to the... Oy, ang straight to ni Chelo. Choose Philippine Airlines. <laughs> okay, go, go. It's the Philippine National Bird. Go there. Monkey-eating eagle. The answer is the Philippine Eagle Foundation. Hindi, no? Tama. You're right. You get the shirt. So, <laughs> another one, another one. Yeah, you can show it to them. You can uh, um, change now if you want. 
Okay, if Lomi is to Batangas, La Paz Bachoy is to Iloilo, what does Sotokil mean? Sabu, there you go, you, 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 yes, yes. Come, 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 come. Can I see it from here? Yes, yeah, so, to, what's so, what's so? Zumba. Yes, and to? Okay, 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 but you go back to two. Yeah. Oh. Uh, kilaw. Yes, and two? Well, I say tola, but tula siguro in Cebuano. Yeah, my, my, my Choose Philippines Trivia Master is there, yes. yes. It's two actually, no? It's, yeah. you turn the, the food to, uh, no, the, the seafood to soup, soup, yeah. yeah. Like right, you get the shirt! So people, ah, people have actually answered this. Uh, no, we tweet it, we Facebook it, we engage. We don't, pero, you know, if you ask me the science to this, I don't know. It's just that I know that Filipinos love contests and they love, you know, to appear bright and smart. So <laughs> we really get a lot of following there. Oh, that, yeah, that's Sotokil. That's the website. And then, yan, if Bacolod City is the city of smiles, and Cagayan de Oro is the city of golden friendship. Ito. Hi, wow. <laughs> Eager. What's your size? Oh, you come, come, come. What city is three times bigger than Metro Manila? Davao. You're right, you're right. So Davao pala is three times bigger than Metro Manila. Why don't you all move there? <laughs> yeah, it's so populated here in Manila. It's three times bigger. They have more trees, they have the Philippine National Eagle, whatever. So, yan. Okay, oh, Palawan na. Are you ready? Trip to Palawan. You're not included. <laughs> so, where's this going to? Coron? Cielo? Puerto Princesa. Hmm? Hmm? For two. Alam mo naman, for one, Cielo. One way. One way. Are the tickets with you already? Oh! <laughs> no, tickets here. Huh? Trip for two. Puerto Princesa. And there's accommodation, huh? Where, Enzo? You see, we have a partner. Who? Microtel. Okay, we have a partner. They're Philippine Hotel Reservation Services. Five star yun, huh? So, Palawan is the last ecological frontier in the Philippines. Where in Palawan could you find the top tourist spot in the, Philippi in the province? Ting tong, ting tong, ting tong. Huh? Wait, let me see some hands. Unahan sa mic. Oh, sige. Yung mic na ito, unahan. Yan, 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 yan. It's an underground river. Ay, naunan siya. Sabi ko ito eh. Ulit ha, ulit. Oh, I don't know which mic. We don't know which mic. Pero siyempre, di ba? Huh? Can you go on a date? <laughs> oh, my mic, my mic, sige. Oh, what's the answer? Here, come. <laughs> or not give it to her, eh? Look at the effort. Come, come, come. Yay, where? Where to Princesa? Right, yay! She wins a trip for two. Tino sa sama mo? Um, sila daw, ang dami. <laughs> Too long, eh. Sorry, eh. <laughs> you pay for your ticket. So get it from Enzo. Ayun, there. Congratulations! So, yeah, and that's what we do. Um, we do promos, we give away t-shirts, we give away lanyards, we give away whatever we can give away. <laughs> Tiyan, we we're asking for um, companies, no? If they want to help us. Oh, but we have pa one more. Is this Palawan also? Koron! Oh, let's do this. Trip to Koron. <laughs> trip to Koron. Oh, sige ah. Next trip via FB na and Twitter. Oh, sabi ni Trivia Master, you have to give your answers via FB. Do you have access? Yeah. Yeah. iChoose. iChoose.com. Go on iChoose.com, not microphone. 
and tweet it to us. Ang, ang tweet na hashtag is hashtag choose fills, no? Or choose Philippines, hashtag choose Philippines, okay? So we give that later. So how do I skip to this question? Skip the question. Hmm? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the question, ah. We're going to pick the winner from FB and Twitter. That's the trip to God. Did you see? So right now, we're in the phase of discovery. Kasi, we search the internet and we don't have one site where you can find everything um, good to go to. I mean, there are a lot of undiscovered spots and places, food, points of interest in the Philippines. Even the Department of Tourism website doesn't have this. So we're in the discovery phase. We're asking Filipinos everywhere in the Philippines to tell us what's the best beach they've seen and probably point to companies as well if they want to develop these areas. Diba? So that's what we're doing right now. Right now we have registered, um, face, uh, fa not Facebook, but the website has 50,000 uh, registered uh, members who are constantly contributing anything like banana queue or civet coffee, anything about the Philippines, even people or heroes, neighborhood heroes. And our page views, wow, 22.2 million na pala. We um, set up the website a year ago, and our Facebook members, who follows Choose Philippines? Siyempre, no? Kayo? <laughs> There at the back, do you? Thank you. Yeah, you, you, there are many Choose Philippines, no? Choose the community. Choose Philippines community and, and nakalagay official. So you see, favorite jan talaga. So, oh, see? Huh? We do Earth Hour campaigns. Yeah, we, we try to help what, in whatever way we can. So you see, and daming like 532. And 184 shares. Because we have 320,000 followers on Facebook. We also post, you know, nice, um, inspirational um, um, quips. And um, our guy here, Roel Fernandez, is the editor-in-chief. And, um, you know, things like this, helping out the pet during the flood, are very popular. La Luna posts like this during the Olympics when we posted this. Look how many likes. 7,700. Grabe, di So, shared. So, isn't that viral? Huh? <laughs> Nako, food talaga binds our society, I tell you. If we post to you, or this, or bagoong, or talong, look. Terrible, 713 shares. <laughs> Food talaga. And things like this, you know, a carbow. <laughs> Pero you know what? It's a campaign pala by Jollibee. But it became viral. Galeng, no? We didn't even know. We had to check. I told them, my guys, hey, totoo ba yan? Or it's a viral campaign by Jollibee. It turned out na it's a viral campaign uh, by Jollibee. So as an advocacy, we strive for positive change to promote love and nationalism in the Philippines. We know you love the Philippines. But then, it's not always fun, diba? Recently, we had the habagat, and you saw. How can you say it's more fun? So we know that we have work to do. But here we give an opportunity as, as well to companies like Philippine Airlines. Give your brand, you know, heart. And because you can, eh, you can turn your image and your corporate brand into um, something like an angel, no? Parang instead of being an evil brand, there are evil brands. And there are only a few companies that can get away now without uh, advocacy marketing. I think it's called corporate social responsibility. We've been doing this, ABS-CBN has been doing this since its inception. 
in the service of the Filipino people. And at the heart of our operations, even if it's news, we have public service. We had Lincoln Bayan before. We had Hoy Gising. Always at the heart of our news operations, we go a bit further. And that's what's different about Philippine news in the Philippines. Kasi nga, when there are a lot of issues, and sometimes when government doesn't really work, you really need a lot of advocates here. <laughs> and there will be a lot of causes that need voices. And that's what we do. So, and we know we're not the only one now, huh? ABS-CBN is not the only one now. There are a lot of movements out there, even similar to Choose Philippines, like I Love Green Mango, and if my Facebook is like studded with groups. I mean, I've been invited to Corona Impeachment Group. I don't even know why I'm part of that. And marami pang iba. So here, um, but we're telling brands and companies to it's now time because people now have control and have power. And they have the tools, which was talked about by Matt Satan, by Leah here. Tools, how to research and to, to find out whether you're telling them the truth or not. You cannot directly push to customers anymore. You say, buy Jollibee or choose Philippine Airlines. You don't do that anymore because customers can, che can check. And, and can tell if you're telling them the truth or not, and they have power to choose. So when you do, we've, we've tried to partner as well with these groups that are out there. There's a citizen group there, Bangge Giorgetti, he's my friend, and we've partnered with them. We try to give voices to causes that need one. So we believe that collective plus action will, will come up with results, and it's called Taupo. This happened before, um, Habagat even. When the rains came, we saw trash in Manila Bay. And people started calling it, well, I called it Manila Yacht Club. <laughs> but look at LBC and their leanest Dagat campaign. They're changing garbage to more, to buy products that are very useful, like pavers. And we hope that there will be more companies taking this on as well. There's talagang tons of garbage out there. Ken, I was um, um, watching your presentation. I was gonna ask Sana, how do we parang measure? If people give um, donations to WWF, are, is there a page that tells you what you've done as well? How many pandas you've saved? You know? <laughs> how, yeah. Um, here, we need to save Thai shares from the Korean tourists. <laughs> I'm not kidding. They're very noisy and, the, and you know, Thai shares pala are shocked by the noise. It was a story um, produced by my friend, Marga Ortigas for Al Jazeera. Sorry, uh, Lemuel, you're Korean half, no? But the Korean tourists now, when they approach the Thai shares, they're very noisy. They go, oh, no, 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 no. Small primates. And some Thai shares, they drop dead. I'm not kidding, why not take on the Tarshiers, WWF, please? You know, we should really educate tourists on how to be tourists, you know, just to look and not to affect the surroundings or change. So that's what we're trying to promote as well. Globe does this, my, my fair share echo bag, I saw it. They said, buy a bag and give internet access to um, indigents, no? and so many other things. This one. Sabi ko nga eh, a few companies can get away now with advocacy marketing. I saw this recent post in uh, Facebook and it turned viral. I sent it to Rudy Villar of SM and I asked him, is this true? Is this bump head pirate fish for real? Being sold in a General Santos uh, SM uh, department store. He said, thank you Charlie, I'll raise this with our merchandising department. So it must be true. So you know, SM, you know, has been subject of so many um, attacks on Facebook, the tree bombing incident, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I think it's time for them to consider to go into advocacy marketing. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> Who's uh, handling it? Oh wait, what happened? Oh, where to next? No, 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 that's not enough to do. Where to next? 
our dream is to, to be able to build a um, website that's like this, where you can, where, where um, kami lang ang meron data about the Philippines, yung new discoveries, where you can uh, find things to do, where to go, what to eat, kasi check it out, wala pa masyado. So we believe that we have the infrastructure to do this, uh, with the users also contributing. We, um, ABS-CBN has like, uh, 22 stations around the Philippines, and we're trying to push um, segments called Choose Cebu, Choose Bacolod, Choose Iloilo, and all of this. And we're trying to make a, uh, do a call out to all um, Cebuanos, Ilongos, to tell us what they're proud about, what they love in their place. So um, I'm also asking you as uh, uh, marketers and um, if, if you know of any company that can help do positive change around the Philippines, I'll be happy to um, talk to you. Because there are a lot of, um, in any Lumen website, you need to have a good organization back, uh, backing it up. Walang website na magsasucceed without a good um, advocacy movement on ground. So if you want to take this on as, uh, you know, um, for your campaigns, um, I'd be happy to talk to you. So, you know, at uh, the very beginning, I wanted to say that there needs to be change of mindsets, even among our very own journalists. We need to be more positive about the Philippines, and we need to really proclaim our love for our country. This is our only country. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Cherry. You get the race. Okay, the next time I see a story from Choose Philippines, I'll run it. Thank <laughs> you! Thank you. So I you know, was able to convince you. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. See, it happened okay. to me too. Look, I was wearing shoes like that eh. <laughs> last Sunday. I'll be back to my regular rubber shoes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was thrown off my bike. So that's another advocacy that I want to push. Um, <laughs> Bicycle lanes, naman. more bicycle lanes for Metro Manila, right, Ernie? Yes! Okay, questions for Ms. Sherry and Choose Philippines. Where's the cleanest river? Huh? Next game, trivia or on cue card? What? <laughs> you have more to give? Ah, ayan pala, oh. Oh, ito pa daw. who wants more shirts? Shirt, oh shirt. If Cagayan River or Rio Grande de Cagayan is the longest and largest river in the Philippines, where can you find the cleanest river in the country? <laughs> Wala ata eh. Pasig. Hoy, nobody knows that. <laughs> huh? Okay. Oh, sige, we don't have time. Later na. Go. We'll give away shirts on the outside. Any questions for Choose Philippines, or shall I go back to my notes? <laughs> go back to your notes. <laughs> okay, default. Um, well, for me, just a comment on on the editorial picks for the photos that uh, that are timely. Uh, there are so many photos that that people question as whether it's authentic or not. So, just maybe a suggestion to timestamp them. Um, yeah. as, as, as coming from Choose Philippines or promoted by Choose Philippines and put the date yeah. and so that people know that it's authentic it's for you. Uh, and it's also a promotion for you. Yeah, um, we try to do that. We try to um, engage our, our, our followers. We act, they, actually, they're very engaged. If you see the conversations, yeah, they're very engaged. It. So it's easy to talk to them. We, we ask them where this was shot and... Um, we have editors kasi in Mindanao, in, in Visayas, and Roel here is for Luzon. Ah, we have one for Luzon, and Roel is the editor-in-chief. Yeah. Uh, of course, Choose Philippines has seen a gap uh, in the services, the informational um, services that the Department of Tourism is not able to give the country, right? Uh, oh, but, but I want to uh, no, no, um, correct that uh, misconception. We're not doing DOTC, the Department of Tourism's job. Their job is to promote the Philippines outside of the mm -hmm. country. We're trying to push, um, we're trying to promote love for country and nationalism 
in the Philippines. We want, we want Filipinos to appreciate the Philippines more and try to, to boost the economy by moving around the Philippines more. Okay, in, in that regard, um, what kind of support, what kind of sponsorship uh, would Choose Philippines need? Um, or what have you received so far that has made a significant difference to it, the campaign? Yeah, this, this is what I was, I've been trying to, to, to say to our um, sponsors or partners. We're not into selling shampoo, nor light bulbs, nor soap. We're not. We're not selling that. We're selling um, an advocacy. And we're, we want SANA for companies to join this advocacy of loving and pushing nationalism in the country. And we think that, um, as you've seen in our Facebook engagement, in our website, that there's really that energy, you know, amongst Filipinos, especially those outside the Philippines now. And they really want to return to the Philippines. And they miss a lot of things in the Philippines. In fact, um, after we've launched the Facebook and the website, um, slowly we've um, invaded or we've, we've tried to convince producers also in ABS-CBN to include Choose Philippines segments in their own newscasts. So um, in TV Patrol, they have this segment called Miss Kuto that's really followed. And ANC also is also pushing Choose Philippines segments as well. My dream is to have a show called Choose Philippines. Not me, but I want some young, younger people <laughs> to travel and journey the Philippines and really appreciate it. Because it's their time. I, I know the Philippines and I love it so much. So it's probably the kids, uh, the second generation, the third generation can do the same. Well, definitely ANC's overnight shift has a lot of airtime. Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions, comments? Yeah, I'm inviting audience? companies because it's very expensive also to do tra a travel show. So. Um, Probably we can all help and pitch in um, in that regard. And in terms of um, correcting um, weaknesses or, or, or you know, nga, our garbage problem, pollution, maybe if we start building more cities around the Philippines, probably we could decongest Metro Manila. If we spur economy, diba? build more cities, then probably the problems of Metro Manila will lessen, I hope. Maybe not in our lifetime, maybe in these kids, uh, they're your grandchildren probably. But now it's time to move. Eh? It's the time to move. All right, and with that, thank you so much for joining us here. Thank this you. Really nice thank you. Thank you.